Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. At a cost of more than 35 million Omani rials, the first phase of the project of doubling Ibri Muskan Road in the government of Zahira is opened. With an active participation by local and global establishments, World Sailor Day is marked in the Sultanate. And Zakah, or almsgiving committee of the Wilaya of Bremi, distributes Ramadan ration to the listed deserved families. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Harry Raja Unari Mampi Nina of Madagascar on his country's independence anniversary. At a total cost of 35 million Omani riyals, the first phase of the Ibri Muskan dual carriage road project was opened for traffic movement. The open part of the road starts from Sultan Qaboos Mosque roundabout, passing through the villages of Al Araqi, Al Ainain, Al Dariz, Al Hayal, and Hajarmat, at a total length of 34 kilometers. The road is considered one of the vital roads that link the governorate of Zahira with the governance of South and North Baltana. It will activate economic economic and touristic aspects and increased social contact among peoples of the governorate. All traffic safety regulations and weather conditions were taken into account in designing all parts of the project. With active participation by local and international establishments, the Ministry of Transport and Communications marked the World Seafarer Day. The celebration included honoring a number of seafarers from various public and private establishments. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Fitaythi, Minister of Transport and Communications. On the sideline of the event, an agreement was signed by Oman Shipping Company and International Marine College to train a number of Omani cadres on marine sciences, ways to deal with risks facing seafarers and watchkeeping. In order to collect financial donations to relieve the troubles of insolvents, imprisoned for financial cases, the third exhibition for Fek Kurba initiative was inaugurated in the Wilaya of Salala. The inauguration ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Saif Al Mahruqi, Deputy Governor of Lufar. This charitable initiative is being organized by Omani Lawyer Society with contribution from individuals and private sector establishments. The effort exerted by the campaign succeeded in the first edition of the campaign to free 44 imprisoned insolvents and its second edition more than 300 prisoners. Still to come in our news bulletin. With its distinctive taste and aroma, the mango fruit season in the village of Al Alia in Wadi Bani Kharous. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Private sector message for traffic safety competition has concluded. It was organized by the Public Authority for Social Insurance in cooperation with Royal Oman Police in the Governorate of Muscat. The competition targeted establishments of the private sector in order to spread a message of awareness among employees, in particular, and the community in general, with the aim to limit traffic accidents and to educate society with traffic safety means. It used drawings and expressions designed on vehicles of the establishment establishments. At the end of the event, winning companies were honored as the best traffic awareness message.
جريدة الشبيبة وجريدة تايم Zaka or alms giving committee of the Wilaya of Buremi concentrated its efforts during the holy month of Ramadan to distribute Ramadan ration to deserved families through efforts of the youth. The Zaka committee is including members who volunteer to work to accomplish its mission. They carry out an organized work starting well before the month of Ramadan in order to distribute essential needed foods to the families registered in the committee's computerized record. Distribution process is very organized as the needy people approach the committee to enlist them among the deserved families, along with their civil status number to facilitate delivering supplies to them. This year, ration is made up of coupons provided by Oman Charitable Organization, along with parcels containing numerous food items supplied by the well-to-do people of the wilaya, and the supply distributor takes into consideration more family members to get more supplies. Mango trees are among trees the farmers are keen to take care of in the Wilaya village of Al Ilya in Wadi Bani Kharous in the Wilaya of Al Awabi. Mango fruits, whose season is these days, attract buyers for their distinctive taste. Local Omani mango is so sweet with nice aroma and attracts customers for its quality and taste. Numerous types and names are known to the farmers and to the consumers. Other fruit trees are also available in this area, such as palm trees, which also have numerous names, types, and colors. Attention is still being paid to Al-Anqa Energy Company shares and at the focus of numerous investors as its shares grabbed all market circulations after it was listed at Muscat Securities Market, MSM. But calm came back to normal after that period. The volume of Al-Anqa Energy Company shares circulation surpassed 242 million shares. Meanwhile, the MSM General Index 30 today lost 7.12 points, comprising a decline by 0.11% to close at 6,441.95 points compared to the last session, which stood at 6,449.07 points. The trading value today stood at 4.44 million Omani Riyals, comprising a decline by 51.6% compared to the last session, which stood at 9.18 million Omani Riyals. The report released by MSM pointed out that the market value declined by 0.02% to reach about 15.05 billion Riyals. Now for the general weather forecast. Partly cloudy to cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas and the nearby mountains of the Governorate of the Far, with chances of intermittent drizzles. Rest of the Sultan will have clear skies with accumulated clouds pushing towards the governorates of South Sharqiyya, Wusta, and Dufar. Winds will be southwesterly moderate to active along the coast of the Arabian Sea, while it will be northwesterly to westerly light to moderate, occasionally active along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas along the coast of the Arabian Sea will be rough with a maximum wave height of 5 meters, and the rest of the coast it will be moderate with a maximum wave height of 2 meters.
This is a SaltNet Overman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. At a cost of more than 35 million Omani riyals, the first phase of the project of Dabalik Ibri Muskan Road in the government of Zahira is opened. With an active participation by local and global establishments, World Sailor Day is marked in the Sultanate. And Zakah, or almsgiving committee of the Wilaya of Bereimi, distributes Ramadan ration to the listed deserved families. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.